Hi, I'm Dina Tierney May, and today I'm going to show you how to make these really fun and super easy reversible dining chair covers. This is a great project if you like to decorate for the seasons or if you like to decorate for the holidays. You could do Halloween on one side and another holiday on the other. Or if you'd like to go from a daytime look, this is a more casual day look, to a more elegant evening look with a satin on the inside. So I'm just going to show you how that goes on. These are quick and easy. It just slips right over. And that's all there is to it. So first thing that you want to do is choose fabrics. And all you need is three quarters of a yard for each side of the cover. And you can choose any fabrics you want. Don't feel limited to having them coordinate. Um, as long as they don't show through one another, you can use anything that you would like. And uh, it's important to choose a light to mid-weight fabric. So the first step is to measure the chair. And you can use a soft covered chair like ours here, or you can use a wooden chair, really any kind of chair. And if you check out the website, we'll show you some simple tweaks that you can make to these covers um, for if your chair has finials, or if it has a rounded back or a shaped back, that's all addressed there. So the first thing that you need to do is just to measure the chair width and the chair depth. And you're gonna add those together and add two inches. And that is going to be your chair width that you make your first cover to. And then next, you wanna measure from the chair seat to the top of the chair back. And you're gonna add half the depth plus one inch for ease and seam allowances. And then you're gonna cut your fabrics to those dimensions. And because you're making it reversible, you're gonna cut two for each side. So you're gonna have four total. And now it's time to sew the covers. So I've got these pre-made mini samples here so that you can see what we've done. So the first step is to just sew the top seam. So you're gonna use half inch seam allowances throughout. And so you're gonna sew the top with a half inch seam allowance and then press that seam open. And then you're just gonna sew the side seams the same with a half inch seam allowance and press those open. And next you're gonna box the corners. And to do this, you just align your top seam and your side seam. And then you're gonna sew perpendicular across the corner and that will give you the shape to your chair cover. And you sew that to the dimensions of the depth of your chair back. So in this case, it's two and a half inches. So you just wanna measure that to make sure that you're accurate and find the place where you're gonna sew. And it's good to use a pin just to mark that location. So I just, I'm gonna stitch that. So this is just set for a basic straight stitch, two and a half millimeters. And you're just gonna sew right across. That's all there is to boxing that corner. So you can see that that gives you the chair depth. And this is what it looks like when both sides are sewn. And you're just gonna trim that seam allowance here. Just trim that corner right off. And now you're just gonna turn one cover right side out and you're gonna repeat those steps for the second cover. And you're gonna place one inside the other so the right sides are together. And once you've done that, you just sew, pin the bottom edge, and then sew three quarters of the way around the bottom, leaving a seven to 10 inch turning opening. And then all you need to do is close that opening and you can either hand stitch it, or you can simply top stitch the bottom and that will close it right up. So there are lots of great variations that you can do with these chair covers. Once you've sewn the basic cover, you can really get creative with the decorative options. You can do a really pretty decorative tie back here. Um, you can piece the fabric before you sew the covers together, or you can add a great ruffle.